Hello beautiful people on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kat and you are watching my so-called teacher life and here in this channel I love to share teacher tips, planning and organization hacks, some vlogs, and my favorite, some real talk. If you like the content that you are watching and you want to be a part of the so-called fam, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button and if you like the content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so here in this video, I'm going to do a planner cart tour with you. I have a planner cart that you guys will see in a second. I'm going to take you through how I organize it and make it all pretty and stuff and also how I kind of lay out the features and how I use the cart for all my planning and teaching needs. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So without further ado, let's dive in to the planner cart review. Here it is. I want to share with you one of my favorite things and that is my planner cart. Ain't she pretty? Oh, cue happy music here. So this is my planner cart guys. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through how I organize and plan my uh, my planner card. So I have a couple of things here. Um, I'll take you through. If you notice, it is Ray Dunn inspired. I love having uh, some Ray Dunn features and pieces here. Um, Ray Dunn makes me happy, so that's why I have it here. Um, and you can use anything to decorate your card. Anything that makes you happy, slap it on your planner card, guys, and call it a day. We'll start on this side here. So what I have done to help me organize my card is I have used these uh, dollar store containers. Now I have two of them here. I have one here and then I have another one. Whoops, I have another one there. And this holds my washi tape. I don't have too much washi. I just, washi tape is something that can get like a little out of control if you don't, you know, manhandle it, you know? Um, so I try to, to keep it just kind of, you know, at a, like just, a good amount a reasonable amount so in addition to the washi i also have a gift card and i believe this is an active gift card that i haven't used it was a gift from one of my students uh but i use this to cut the washi when i'm planning and then i also have uh an ancient ipod <laughs> i've had this for years um and i use this to listen to music as i plan and then moving back here, I have a little love vase. Now in the summertime, I like to put some fresh cut flowers in here. So that's why it's there. Um, it's quite new, newer, but I love having it there just so I can put flowers in. Then I have a Ray Dunn, another Ray Dunn piece. This is a whole container. And in here, I hold in my binder clips. Favorite, one of my favorite parts. And this is where I keep all of my planning stickers. I love them all. All of my planning stickers um, are here. And what I've done is, and these, these planner stickers, by the way, are from um, Mambi, some of my big ideas. It's their sticker collection. Uh, this one here I, I got um, secondhand and I didn't have the cover on it, that's why. But I just took a binder clip and I labeled them because I like to label things. And um, yeah, so they're all in alphabetical order. I know, OCD. <laughs> and then back here what I've done is I've taken a photo book from the dollar store and I have loaded it up with um, some miscellaneous stickers so I just have an assortment of stickers here that I kind of keep in here um, some extras that I've gotten purchased off Amazon or what have you and I just like to keep them in here uh, so I have two of those and again I just use my label maker and just labeled it up and yeah, it's good to go. Okay, so next on my second shelf, oh, and before I dive in there, I do have these um, Ray Dunn magnets, and I use these for decorative purposes, of course, but I also use them to um, attach little notes um, or anything I need to, um, or for my husband or for myself. So these come in handy, and I just like to store them there so I always know where they are. And on my second shelf is where I store um, some of my planners. So here I have a um, happy planner, um, whatchamacallit, notebook. This is um, just a regular classic planner that I'm not using right now. Um, then I have a Ray Dunn, if you can see there, a Ray Dunn monthly planner, a Ray Dunn uh, notes book, and then a Ray Dunn planner planner. And I used to use these last year, but now I've switched up my planner game a little bit. I have my classic Filofax planner. Love 
love her. She is gorgeous. I've had her for um, many years now. And then I also have some additional planner accessories. So I have some um, happy planner paper. This I, this is what I use in my planner for some days that require some extra planning. And then I have um, a social media um, paper here. And then I also have um, some, this is kind of like the first half of my school, my teacher planner, which is also a happy planner, classic planner. And speaking of that, I have my happy planner here. And this is, this is a beauty. I'm going to do a video on her soon love her but yes I I want to go through this is my personal planner and it's the happy planner classic and then here um, again I have another one of those white containers and I had another one of those white containers holding my my planner stickers here that's what that was there and here I have uh, my label maker that's what I use to label up uh, my planners and my stickers and then I have some more accessories here, some scissors, and just some random miscellaneous stuff that is found in here. And finally, on the last shelf, I hold um, my Ray Dunn pouches. Now these pouches contain just random supplies. So I have scissors, tape, um, pretty much teacher supplies in this one here, and that one back there. Um, this one here I have, because it's small, this is kind of like my planner bag on the go so if I'm going somewhere and I want to plan I just kind of fill this up with what I need and I take it to go I also have um, some tabs in here and I use tabs for my planners so I have some colored tabs and I have some white tabs and this is from the post-it brand and then I just have some tape in here as well just some regular Reuben tape and then I have one that says uh, best teacher ever and that contains just some additional planner stickers that have just gone rogue. <laughs> and then some more planner supplies in here. And um, let's open this up to see. And this one here, so this one says teacher essentials. And I just have um, some teacher related stickers. So stickers for my students um, and additional planning stickers just located in here. And yeah, I just keep that on the lower part of my planner cart. And yeah. There we have it. So usually how what this looks like is I have um, my happy planner and I just kind of place it right here. And I just wheel it around um, from my office to the living room to the dining room and it is great. This is definitely a great buy. You will not be disappointed. There are different varieties of um, planner cards available on the market. This one happened to be from Michaels and I believe it was around $40 or so. I believe Ikea makes their own, I think it's the Rags Geig or something, some kind of weird name like that. But you can also get that um, from Ikea. But yeah, there you have it. It's a great little tool to help you organize your planner accessories and all your planner goodies. And um, you will definitely enjoy it. So pick one up if you haven't done so already. Um, there are lots of fun. Alrighty, so thank you so much for watching guys. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys are, are well. If you stay to the end, thank you so much for watching. I love having you be a part of the so-called flam, fam, <laughs> flam, <laughs> fam by watching and supporting this channel. If you haven't done so already, if you like the content and you wanna support a small YouTuber, please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the content you're seeing. Okay, thank you so much for watching guys. As always, be well and be blessed. And until the next video, take care guys. Bye-bye.